What's up, folks? Running a few errands here. Figured I'd do checks and balances since I got a steering wheel. This jackass doesn't know how to turn. He swung out wide. He was making a right turn and swung out wide into my lane like an idiot. But that's okay. Folks, I don't have a road rage problem. The problem is everybody else around me doesn't know how to drive. I can certify that as a fact. You, take your driving record, all right? Put it up against mine. You will lose. I have not had a ticket, not been in an accident, nothing since probably 2014, which I haven't been in an accident longer than that. So if you want to take the Pepsi challenge with me as far as driving records go, you will lose. I will win. You don't know how to drive. I do. And before you say I'm making assumptions, presumptions for you and everybody else, again, put your money where your mouth is. Put your driving record against my driving record. Or get your vehicle of choice. Meet me down in Mexico and we'll do a roll race to see who's better. We can do that too. All right, I'm way off track way off track so what I wanted to talk about today basically is kindness way way back when when I was first teaching quantum grammar and I would have discussions with my tutor colon raven about it and we were looking at the at, uh, words that had vowels in front of consonants at the beginning of the word with no contract but they're so commonly used, like what are we gonna do about that? And one of the words was equal, E-Q-U. So I did a little bit of work and research on it and found out that somewhere along the line in history, hundreds of years ago, equal was spelled with a digraph. An A connected to an E, A-E-Q-U-A-L, which means, yeah, you guessed it, it's two vowels in front of a consonant. And so therefore, positive performance. So what I did was I did a salvage on it so that we could continue to use the phrase maintenance of the rule one rule equal. Now, here's the thing, while we were we were doing that while we were doing the researching we also Raven and I considered totally eliminating the word equal entirely so instead of saying rule one rule equal we started saying rule one rule kindness which when you look at it kind of embodies the balance of the honor and the grace as well in that rule. Now I know other folks will use rule one, rule same, but same is mm, not a big fan of that word. As far as correct sentence structure goes, I'm not a big fan of using it in correct sentence structure. I don't use it, but it doesn't matter because I did the salvage on AE. Open source salvage, by the way, folks, you can use it with no fear of repercussions or anything like that. Uh, the one year and one day drogue timeline on the salvage of of that scenario came and went no one challenged me so it stands my claim stands equal is spelled a e q u a l incorrect sentence structure you're welcome so the reason i'm saying this is i want to say thank you for the kindness of others that others have shown me. 
I want to say thank you to the cosmos for the blessings that I have, the food, the clothing, the shelter, the family, everything. Um, I want to say thank you. And it just is so much better, I find, when I'm kind to people than not. No matter what the scenario. Like, I don't really... I'm not a very public person anymore. I don't normally go out to crowded places and interact with folks anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. And so I'm kind of socially it can be socially awkward for me at times because I mean for me not for anybody else but I mean I don't know if it's awkward for anybody else but for me I can be a little bit awkward because I'm not used to talking to all different types of personalities out in public all the time like when you go to a big carnival or a gathering or a fair or a car show or whatever whatever it is you go to an apple cider farm <laughs> so because because when you do things like when you stop being social like that and being around people all the time you sort of lose the knack for small talk and I've definitely lost that knack but I do appreciate and am grateful for the interactions that I do have when I do go out like today I went to three different places uh, I went to the county clerk's office here. I went to uh, a grocery store. And then I also went to Staples store. And in each of those scenarios, I had to interact with folks. I had to inter interact with folks ranging from police officers to a county clerk to cashiers to just regular folks. And every time kindness is the way to go and I find that many times people will pick up on your demeanor or I should say my demeanor and it will reflect in the way in their kuleana with me and everything goes so much smoother and nicer and folks it does not matter about race I mean it does on the surface when you're walking in and out of certain areas or certain locations places where you know oh well these this ethnicity is more of those types of people here than here blah 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 don't go there you know you could get in trouble just by your skin color I mean yeah that's true to an extent but folks I go in and out of Detroit pretty often and I end up going into stores in some parts of town where my skin color is definitely the minority there is no one as light complected as me in some of the places that I go from time to time. And I have never had a problem. I've never had anyone be ignorant or mean to me. Especially after I engage with them. Before I engage with them, you know, a lot of times they might look at me because I look different than everyone else. And they get this look on their face like they're sucking on a sour lemon or something. And then they roll their eyes and stuff. But once I open my mouth and we start talking and, and establishing a dialogue, all of a sudden it's different. All of a sudden the facade softens and they start smiling and everything goes good. So today's checks and balances is just a little... Uh, exercise a little exercise in humility cultivating humility for myself sharing with you my thoughts on this matter and some other things and just so you know I'm still healing up I started doing workshops I'll be starting workshops tomorrow so if I have not yet reached out to you I will appreciate your patience hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one thanks
Thank you.